through a man named John Newbro. And he, I'm just going to brief a letter that he wrote and how the book came about. You can read it up online on your own time, but just I'm just going to give you a brief and just the part where how the book came about. It states, Briefly, then, Owaspi was mechanically written through my hands by some other intelligent than my own. Many spiritualists are acquainted with this automatic movement of the hands, independent of one's volition. There are thousands and thousands of persons who have this quality. It can also be educated, or rather, the susceptibility to external power can be increased. In my own case, I discovered many years ago in sitting in circles to obtain spiritual manifestation that my hands could not lie on the table without flying off into these tantrums. Often they would write messages left or right, backward or forward, nor could I control them in, in any other way than by withdrawing from the table. Sometimes the power thus baffled would attack my tongue or my eyes or my ears, and I talked and saw and heard differently from my normal state. Then I went to work to investigate spiritualism, and I investigated over 200 mediums traveling hundreds and hundreds of miles for this purpose. Often I took them to my own home and experimented with them to my heart's content, and I found that nearly all of them were subject to this involuntary movement of the hands or to entrancement. They told me it was angels controlling them. In the course of time, about 10 to 15 years, I began to believe in spiritualism, but I was not satisfied with the communications. I was craving for the light of heaven. I did not desire communication from friends or relatives or information about earthly things. I was to learn something about the spirit world, what the angels did, how they traveled, and the general plan of the universe. So after a while, I took it into my head that wise and exalted angels would commune better with us if we purify our, ourselves physically and spiritually. Then I gave up eating flesh and fish, milk and butter, and took to rising before day bathing twice a day and occupying a small room alone where I sat every morning half an hour before sunrise, recounting daily to my creator my shortcomings in governing myself in thought and deed. So I'm going to pause for a minute because it states here that in order for him to attain a higher understanding, he stopped eating meat. So we also have to consider the dietary law about fastening away from the meat. Because fruits and vegetables nurture the spirit, and flesh food take away the nurturement of the spirit. So you must consider the dietary law, just like he considered it in order to get a higher understanding of, of our creator. Now, in six years training, I reduced myself from 250 pounds down to 180, and I had no more headaches, and I became limber. A new lease of life came to me. Then a new condition of control came upon my hands. Instead of the angels holding my hands as formerly, they held their hands over my head. And they were clothed with sufficient material, mater, material for me to see them. And the light fell upon my hand as they lay on the table. In the meantime, I had attained to hear audible angel voices near me. I was directed to get a typewriter which writes by keys like a piano. This I did. And I applied myself industriously to learn it, but with only indifferent success. For two years more, the angels propounded to me questions relative to heaven and earth which no mortal could answer very intelligently. And I always look back on those two years as an enigma. Perhaps it was to show me that man is but an ignoramus at best. Perhaps I was waiting for constitutional growth to be good. Well, one morning the light struck both my hands on the back. 
and they went for the typewriter for some 15 minutes very vigorously. And I was told not to read what was printed. And I had worked myself into such a religious fear of losing this new power that I obeyed reverently. The next morning also, before sunrise, the same power came and wrote, or printed rather, again. Again I laid the matter away very religiously, saying little about it to anybody. One morning I accidentally, or seemed accidentally to me, looked out of the window and beheld the line of light that rested on my hands, extending heavenward like a telegraph wire towards the sky. Over my head were three pairs of hands fully materialized. Behind me stood another angel with her hands on my shoulders. My looking did not disturb the scene. My hands kept right on printing and printing. For fifty weeks this continued every morning, half an hour or so before sunrise, and then it ceased. And I was told to read and publish the book Owaspi. The picular drawings in Owaspi were made with pencil in the same way. A few of the drawings I was told to copy from other books, such as Saturn, and the Egyptian ceremonies, and etc. Now, during all the while I have pursued my vocation, dentistry, nor has this matter, nor my diet, vegetable fruits, detracted any from my health or strength, although I have continued this discipline for upward of ten or more years. I am firmly convinced that there are numberless people who might attain to marvelous developments if they would thus train themselves. A strict integrity to one's highest light is essential to development. Self-abnegation and purity should be the motto and discipline of everyone capable of angel communion. Truly yours, John Newbro. Now that's just a piece of the letter where it just describes how the book came about. And if you notice, it was directed and guided by these angels. And these angels are the ambassadors of the Creator, known as Jehovah. And they work in legions and in large numbers to do the will of Jehovah on earth. And the purpose for this was to bring about this Bible and bring about this information contained in the book. So now we're going to talk about these ambassadors of Jehovah and who are they and whence they come. Now the angels ambassadors who come in the name of Jehovah are basically organized angels in the Ethereum realm who come in companies of hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands to planetary worlds or terrestrial worlds and help advance mortals in their growth and development in the terrestrial plane. So this is the duty of the Ethereum angels or the ambassadors of the Creator which are to help develop the physical realm or the physical dimension whatever name you want to call this reality to help them advance in it so if you notice even a child you know a child is taught everything the child is taught comes from the parent so you could look at it in that matter the parent could be these Ethereum angels coming from these exalted regions down to us to humans to teach us things that we know not of and to give us material to help us advance in our realm like the technology we got today that just didn't come up from a man one day thinking that was sent and delivered and that's